Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings, and Sunday blessings. You know what I'm going to say first off. If you're watching or listening to this program, then you have already been blessed by God because he has given you once again a chance to get up and have the breath of life and praise God's name. We got a good sermon note today. Go ahead and get your Bible or get your device out. And once again, I have to encourage you, please get your Bible because you can mark your Bible you know, and not be clicking on your cell phone. I'm old school. I like to be able to click into my Bible and see what I'm reading and flip over in there. Let's go on into this sermon notes tonight. Today, it's a blessing. All right. First Philippians chapter one, verses one through 11. So go ahead and get into first Philippians chapter one, verses one through 11. The title of the sermon notes is it's an inside job. It's an inside job. Even if you in jail, you can be saved even right now today. When you get hard pressed and at the end of your road, you can still come through your wilderness. And jail is all kind of different ways. Jail literally behind bars, jail in your house, jail at your job, etc. Even when Jesus was ordained by God, he still got tempted. It's an inside job. With God, your outlook and decisions will be different. Don't miss that. You won't let your burdens get you down. Jesus' burden and yoke is light. Jesus' burden and yoke is so light. You don't have to worry about life's troubles because God has already taken care of that. It's an inside job. Jesus got it. Have you gotten a bad diagnosis? Bad marriage? Bad job? After you worked so hard on that job, college loans and tuition or can't even get into college, no gas for your car, you can't even pay your rent right now. You don't even have food. God got it. It's an inside job. Stay faithful. What's on the inside of us will show up on the outside. Now, Paul, if you read the scripture text, is in prison, waiting to be executed. Now, imagine that. But he wrote a positive letter. He had been previously persecuted by the church because he was killing Christians. So, imagine Paul had been killing Christians. They believed in the Lord. So, he's in prison, waiting to be persecuted, waiting to be persecuted and killed. Now, after he got in prison, actually before he got in prison, he had an encounter with God where he was blind for three days on the road to Damascus. He had an encounter with the Lord and God said, Paul, why are you persecuting me? Why are you killing my children? He was killing children, men, pregnant women, persecuting them because he didn't know. And after he had that encounter on the Damascus road with Jesus, <laughs> he was blind for three days. God will blind you. All kind of different ways, literally. Then he got up. <laughs> he started living for the Lord. Not only did he start living for the Lord, but after he started living for the Lord, he got stoned to death, but he lived through it. Got beat up, but he lived through it. Shipwrecked, but he lived through it. And even snake bitten, but he lived through it. It's an inside job. Once you turn your life over to God, it's an inside job. Paul used to be Saul, but God gave him a new name. We all have a past. Saul got saved and God gave him that new name. Lord have mercy. An inside job. God will do it for you. He did it for me personally. 
And inside job, I ask you to come today. I really ask you to come today in the name of Jesus. We all have a past to where whether we sinned knowingly or unknowingly sinned. By the grace of God, we all have sinned. We were, we were born in sin. We have the grace of God. An inside job. You can get a new name today. All you have to do is say, Lord, come into my heart. I believe you are my Lord and Savior. God, I believe that you gave your son Jesus Christ up for the cross for us all and took all the horrible sins and that you raised him from the dead. An inside job, I know it for myself. Personal testimony. Today, just say that prayer. Believe on God. And then I want to test you on something. If it's not of the true and living God, pray to an idol, which may be like a stone figure or something that, you know, someone has told you about. See if your prayer comes through. But if you pray to the living and true God, I promise you, he will save you. He loves you. He will never leave you. Leave you. It's an inside job. Thank you so much for listening to this program today. Leave me some comments about you being saved or giving your life over to Christ today. I invite you to join the channel. Uh, subscribe today so that you can be part of the Tote Pass Blessing family because what we do here, we are true and transparent. We love the Lord. God is so good to us. I love you so much. I have witnessed personal, powerful blessings Every week, I invite you to have them too. I love you and be blessed.